Applications of differentiation. In this video, we're still going to continue with stationary points. You will find this on page 291 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. A curve y equals fx has a stationary point at p3 and negative 10. It is given that f dash x is equal to 2x squared plus kx minus 12 where k is a constant. Show that k is equal to negative 2 and hence find the x coordinate of the other stationary point q. Okay, let's first start. First write the derivative function there. Now in the derivative function substitute the, val um, the value of x of the coordinate point and sub, uh, put it equal to zero because that is at the stationary point. The differentiated equation will be equal to zero. So I did it there, and then I just find the value of k, and it's exactly negative two. And if I want to find the other stationary point, I substitute the value of k, divide two, I factorize the value of its x is three and x is negative two. The x coordinate of the other stationary point, q, is negative 2. Okay, now find the, um, the second derivative and determine the nature of each stationary point. So here they ask you to follow that method. So I first find the second derivative, and then if, I, if the value of x is 3, that I substitute it in. If it's bigger than 0, it's a minimum point. And if I substitute negative 2 in, and if it's smaller than 0, then um, that's a negative value, then it's a maximum point. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1 and number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. A curve has a stationary point, this is stationary, and has an equation for this the derivative function, where a is a non-zero constant, very important, non-zero constant. Find the value of a. <clears throat> now first, write the derivative function. dy by dx is equal to <clears throat> ax squared plus a squared x. Okay, now this is my stationary uh, point. Remember, not a, it's a stationary point. Now, I know at the stationary point, I know, I can write it that, at the stationary point, x is equal to 3 dy by dx oh, sorry, okay, it's not nice <clears throat> it's 0 so I substitute 0 and in the place of x I substitute 3 and that will give me 9a plus 3a squared. Okay, and now I'm going to just um, factorize this. So let's make it 3a. And so therefore, a is 0 or a is equal to negative 3. Okay, um, I reject negative 3. Ach, not negative 3. A is equal to 0. So, because it's a non-zero constant. So, therefore, A is equal to negative 3. Because if it's 0 also, then the whole function will become 0. Okay, but that's the final answer. Okay, let's do number two. Mm -hmm. 
In the diagram, the curve is represented by, okay, now they give you the original function. I rather want to use yellow first. And it's a x to the power of 3 plus b x squared. Find the add value of a if b is 2 is the minimum turning point. Okay, so this is very important. This is 2 and negative 4 is the minimum turning point. Okay, now it's actually like I'm going to work with the original equation and I'm going to work with the differentiated equation. Okay, so if I'm going to, so if I'm, I, I substitute first 2 and negative 4 because in the original equation. So if I substitute it in, I'm just going to, okay, let's just take another color. Substitute. in the original equation. Okay, so in the place of y, this is x, y, it's negative 4. In the place of x, it's 2. So it's negative 4 equals, this is 8a plus 4b. Okay, and that will be equation 1. Now, subs, okay, now, now I'm going to, so this was on the curve, but now I'm going to, in the differentiated, I'm first going to differentiate, okay? I think just before I make this equation 1, let's just do this. Just uh, sometimes it's just better to work with equations in the simplest form. So let's just first divide by 4. So it's going to be negative 1, then it's going to be 2a plus b, and that is going to be equation 1. I'd rather make that. Okay. Divide by negative, um, divide by 4. Now I'm going to differentiate. So I'm going to say dy or dx, okay, this is just a constant, so make it 3a x squared plus 2b x. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute, big, okay, let, so let's rather write it first like that. At the stationary point x equals 2 and dy by dx will be 0. There will come a new equation. So I'm first going to, I'm going to put 0 in and in the place of x, because that point is 2, I substitute 2. This is 4 times 3, so it's 12a plus 4b. And this is going to be my equation 2. Okay. And I can simplify it further. I think this in this case, um, yeah, let's, let's again first simplify it further. Then um, if I bring this, um, it doesn't matter what, you can bring any one over. But in this case, let's be, so it's negative 12a. It's 4b. I divide 4, I divide 4, so therefore b is equal to negative 3a. And that's in equation 2. So, and now I'm going on, substitute. Equation 2 into equation 1. And then I'm going to get, okay, 
So if I'm going to say, let's just see, this is equation 2 into equation 1, and it's at B. So it's going to be negative 1 equals 2A minus 3B. Oh, no, I made a mistake here. Okay, in the place of, let's just, let's just redo that. In the place of B, I'm going to put, okay, so negative 1 equals 2A. In the place of B, negative 3A. That's better. Okay, so it's going to be negative 1 equals negative A. So therefore, A is equal to 1. And, okay, now B... Let's just go back to B, and B is equal to, oh, let's just go, negative 3, and the 1, and it's going to be negative 3. So, if I want to add int nice, I can just say, therefore, A is 1, and B is equal to negative 3. And that's how you do it. So we form two equations. One we substitute in the original to form the first. And one we substitute in the differentiated equation. And then we solved it simultaneously.